Hello everyone, my name is Gan Cheng, the PhD student from Porsche Institute. Thanks a lot for coming to my presentation. Today, I'm going to talk about a state-of-art source apportionment technique application in European cities. So the motivation of this study is that Europe still remains polluted. 80% of European urban population are exposed to polluted air with PM2.5 concentration larger than 10 microgram per cubic meter, which is above WHO air quality guidelines. However, the processes of organic aerosol formation remain complex. Thus, we need to understand the sources of OA to mitigate OA mass concentration more effectively. So typically, we use the online instrument, the Aerodyne Aerosol Mass Spectrometer, AMS, to determine the chemical composition with a time series of total organic mass spectrum. Then we use the positive matrix factorization, which is PMF, to quantitatively separate the organic time series original time series of organic aerosol matrix into several time series of OA factors. And mathematically, the PMF model is trying to minimize the Q value to get the solution with minimum residuals. In recent years, PMF has been improved in many aspects to get more robust source apportionment results. For instance, Kananoko et al. in 2000. 21 developed the rolling PMF together with ME2 to enable the source profiles adapt the temporal variations of the sources, so-called rolling PMF. Instead of running the PMF for the whole data set, it takes a smaller time window, like 14 days, to roll over the whole data set with a step of one day to allow the factor profile to change over time. However, all these post-analysis often involve subjective judgments. It is also time-consuming to conduct such analysis. More importantly, it requires the user to have sufficient PMF knowledge to achieve meaningful source apportionment results. All these challenges eventually lead to little popularity of source apportionment for monitoring purposes. So to address the challenges we mentioned it before, we propose a new method to conduct source apportionment in a real-time manner. For example, after we obtain 14 day of OA matrix from the ACSM or AMS like this one, then we conduct the rolling PMF for this data set. Then we assume the source profile from this 14 day window are consistent with the following 24 hour data points. Then we conduct the chemical mass balance for the next data point for the following 24 hours to retrieve the real-time OA sources. Then we keep running the rolling PMF to update the source profile for the next 24-hour uh, CMB analysis. So um, then we have taken this technology to the next level. We have fully automated the whole process to enable users to easily access robust real-time source apportionment results. To do, to do so, we first acquire raw data from the QSSM and we apply the IE or RIE calibration factor and the CE correction at the same time. Um, and uh, then we pre-treat the data by blacklisting some low quality data. The low quality data has been defined by following the standard uh, operation procedure developed by the cost colossal community. And then after we calculate the error matrix, then we have we prepared the PMF input for every 30 minute of SSM data. Then with the updated PMF input, we can we are able to conduct a real-time rolling PMF to provide a time-dependent source source profile for the next data point to run the uh, chemical mass balance 
analysis, eventually we can get the real-time source apportionment results in minutes. So uh, to test the real-time source apportionment concept, we use the QSSM data collected from an urban background station in the city of Athens, Athens, where it has 3 million population. Keep in mind that temperature uh, at this station is not very low, even at uh, the winter time. So in addition, this data set it, uh, is collected from July 2016 to July 2017. Uh, together, we have, uh, have measured corresponding gas phase, the black carbon, and uh, meteorological measurements. And uh, currently, we have got the rolling results from this data set and the factor profiles, time series, and the daily average relative contribution has been shown in this slide. And the results show a significant DVOA contribution during the cold period. OOA factors are still dominating over the whole time, and particularly. LOA contribution is high during the warm season, and uh, which is because the enhanced biogenic emission, but the increasing trend during the winter time is because the uh, influence of fast oxidized biomass burning sources. So uh, with those robust post analyzed rolling results we get from previous slide, we compare it with the real-time chemical mass balance result to test the quality of this real-time methods. This slide shows the scatter plot of corresponding OA factors in mass concentration. The y-axis is the mass concentration of a specific OA factor from the, uh, from the CMV result, and the x-axis is the mass concentration of specific OA factor from the post-analyzed rolling results. So in general, they both have a very good agreement with the an R square larger than 0.94, especially for the HOA. Both correlation and slope showed an impressive agreement. The COA and the BBOA somehow showed uh, some scattering points during the cold period. Uh, it is most likely due to the source profile of BBOA and the COA from CMB result were not able to adapt to the temporal variabilities as fast as the rolling PMF. Overall, the real-time CMB results slightly underestimate the OOA with a slope of 0.89, which means it overestimates the primary organic aerosol factors around 11%. So, and this slide showed the, the comparison in relative contribution of each OA component. In general, it remained consistent between two methods. The OOA contribution is again the best, impress, uh, the most impressive one regarding agreements between two methods. For the inconsistencies of COA and BBOA, these scatter points are more obvious than the scatter points uh, plots in the previous uh, slide. Also, the inconsistencies of COA and BBOA mass concentration also caused the scatter points in the OA contribution comparison. That overall, both PO, uh, POA and OOA showed a good agreement with an R square larger than 0.93 and the slope close to one. So, we also tested the assumption about the cons consistency of OA factor profile between previous rolling PMF time window and the following data points. To do so, we compared the factor profile that has have been used for CMB analysis and the factor profile from the post and analyze the rolling results. Overall, all the factors shows uh, a good agreement with an Oscar RPOs and larger than 0.995. This comparison further proved that the factor profiles are mostly static within 14 days rolling PMF window, which is well aligned with our initial assumption. In addition to the Athens data, we have tested this, uh, the automation procedure using the ACSM data collected in Zurich. So it is an a urban background a site located in a park. And from uh, the data is collected from May 2019 to May 2020. As you can see from the pie chart, OA is still dominating 
with around 65.8% uh, contribution. And uh, we conduct, conducted this uh, sort of test during the campaign. So uh, we have, uh, before we running the real-time source portion, we need some uh, primary information about the OA sources in, in current uh, data set. So we have analyzed the seasonal results to better understand the number of factors. Here we were able to get HOA, COA, and cigarette smoke OA factor in this data set. As expected, the OA factor are still the main contributor in Zurich. So with the, the uh, uh, primary information in the previous slide and uh, those uh, calibration factor, also the uh, collection efficiency correction factor showing this red box, we are able to get the real-time source portion results within minutes. The time series contributions, factor profiles, and the scale residuals will be presented in a real-time man real manner. By automating all these steps, we were able to retrieve robust source portion results uh, without too much knowledge in PMF. So in summary, we have proven that real-time CMB results uh, have a good agreement with the post-analyzed rolling results in mass concentration, a relative contribution, and effective profiles. Also, the pro CMB results tend to overestimate POA but underestimate OA within the difference of 10%. And the concept, concept of real-time source portion works and the factor profile within 14 days remain static, which further proved our initial assumption. The, the real-time SOFI has been fully automated for QSSM based on our most recent test in Zurich. And uh, in the future, we will compare the rolling and the CMB results using both Zurich and the Paris data sets. And potentially we will utilize the external tracers uh, data to improve or validate the real-time results. And we believe the success of this method made it possible for a more accurate and robust air quality forecast in the near future. So uh, here I would like to acknowledge the financial support from the SMERS uh, project and uh, also the great infrastructure uh, of actress and all the support from uh, those collaborators. And, and uh, in the end, I just want to mention, uh, please drop by my upcoming poster session about the rolling PMF analysis for 22 SSM our AMS data set collected in Europe. And uh, this that will be all my presentation. Thanks a lot for your attention.